Ryan, the second film that came out this week, we talked about Disney's entry, Jungle Cruise. Um, this film is not a Disney film. Uh, this, is, <laughs> no. this is from your favorite studio, A24. One of, yeah, well, you know, one of my favorites. One of your favorites. It's your it's your favorite. It's okay. It's I know it's it's like making you you know with your favorite child. It's it's a twenty four. Um, well, I, you know about half of them. Sure. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Um, delayed from last year, like so many things. The Green Knight, an adaptation of Sir Gawain and the Green Knight from the King Arthur legend, uh, written or adapted uh, and directed by David Lowry. Uh, starring Dev Patel as uh, our titular knight, well, not our titular knight, uh, Sir Gowan, who's going up against the Green Knight. Um, if you're not familiar with the concept or the basic story of the Green Knight, Christmas time at Camelot, Arthur asked people to give him a story to entertain him. Big Green Knight on a horse rides through the door, throws down a challenge. Any knight gets to take one shot at him, but in one year, that person has to go to his to the Green Chapel up north, and he gets one shot at them. That's the basics of, of the thing. And of course, Dev Patel steps right up, lops off his head, thinking, I win. And the knight gets up, picks up his head and says, see you in a year, sucka, and leaves. Uh, so the film, the story is really how he handles the next year and his quest up to the Green Chapel. Uh, this is not uh, Guy Ritchie's King Arthur. <laughs> no. Um, it is not John Borman's Excalibur, uh, which I love. Uh, this is something else. Uh, not entirely, but dare I say uniquely something else. What do you think? Yeah. Uh, where, where? How did how did you feel going well, in I mean, and coming out? Well, it's it's different because it's not really. Um, it's it's not the story that we're used to when you you, you think of Arthur, uh, right? And King Arthur, um, and it doesn't have a lot of the elements that we're traditionally used to seeing in an Arthur. Um, uh, film, you know, there's there's no Merlin, uh, but there is witchcraft. Um, yep. Arthur's sort of, yeah, you know, Arthur is in this, but it's it, it's he's literally a shadow of himself. Um, I, you know, so I I think that even for people, even for people who know the King Arthur story and think that they've seen the King Arthur story over and over again, this is this is something that's quite different than what they, they, they probably expect, not only narratively, but even just how, it, how uh, it's been made. Um, it's kind of uh, rough around the edges, but at the same time, kind of this beautiful atmospheric nightmare. It, uh, yeah, it's, it, is, it does capture the, in a different way, it's got that same ethereal quality as Excalibur did. Because a lot of Excalibur is a real has a really dreamy quality to it, but it's a really polished, yeah. dreamy quality. And in the Green Knight, it's a really dreamy quality, but it is it is rough. Uh, yeah, it is a very right. rough world that we're in. Which I think is more accurate to. I mean, um, you know, I mean, it it would have been a very dirty, rugged. You know, I mean, there's there's nothing particularly, you know, shiny about really uh, about the Middle Ages. Um, no, there but, shouldn't be. But even even cinematically, Borman's was was beautiful. Yeah. And it, but in cinematic, you know, it just in terms of like framing and and stuff, it the, the Green Knight, it's it is very rough, and yet it is just oddly finished. At the same time. Um, it is a it is a wonderful film to look at, and I know that we harp on that because that's you know we make I I make fun of that. It's not visually stunning, but it is. There are parts of it that are really striking, sure. and then there are parts of it that are just so mundane, and yet somehow 
carry this sense of of the mythology that we're in um is it's it was just really neat to watch i did have a few problems with some of the shots um but that was mostly because i thought some of them were just way too long uh but there's no bad shots really in this film it is really well photographed um and yeah the story is it's bleaker <laughs> than, than most of the stuff we get uh from hollywood even guy Ritchie tried to dirty up his his king arthur and couldn't do it really uh it was still way too pretty and bright and polished um this is dark and moody and and dirty uh, and 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 beautiful at the same time um i know i was asking and i, I still don't know I, I i didn't get a chance to look it up how wide this is going to open um I, it it feels like they're gonna try a a, a a quote unquote big opening you know maybe not jungle cruise big uh in terms of how many theaters and what markets but i, I think it's going to be a a nationwide release it is um i can see if i can pull it but uh yeah because it's not I, I th i'm guessing probably around a thousand theaters whereas jungle book is four thousand god they're putting jungle cruise in four thousand are there that many yep. still open it's the it's the the widest release uh they've had in uh well then it's, since, since pandemic yeah. well then then they're def then it's definitely going to destroy black widow but that's a comment for the last episode uh yeah so even a thousand theaters it feels like a lot this it feels like an art house film but it also feels like something that everyone should see but it's but it also it is not for everyone this is just a really weird film to talk about who should go see it. Yeah, yeah, uh, uh, it's it's a slow burn fantasy horror movie. Um, if you didn't like The Witch, which is a slow burn horror movie of a completely different kind, right. um, but but similar, I think in atmosphere and, and whatnot. Um, and that was David Lowry as well. Uh, believe, no, that wasn't was it? David Eggers. Eggers. Oh, it was Eggers. Um, that's right. Yeah, it was a David uh, in there. But, but but Lowry did do the uh, a ghost story. That's uh, right. Wh which is story. which is is similar in in kind of artsiness, I guess. Yeah. Um, but Lowry also did the, the remake of uh, Pete's Dragon. So I mean, he's a kind of a you know, I guess if you put Ghost Story and Pete's Dragon together and sat it and set it back in you know the yeah. medieval times somewhere in there that's where uh the green knight is but um yeah it's definitely not going to be for everybody um uh, it, it's it's not an action movie no it um, is not which is, which is what i think people uh, often expect from um a, a, you know, a, a, the fantasy films. This right. is this is like the grittier parts of Lord of the Rings, not the action parts of Lord right. of the Rings. This is the, this is the, you know, monologue. -y. Well, not even that, because a lot of this, his journey's on his own, and he's just kind of making his way through the forest, and you know. Um, but no, not not for everybody. Um, I think it, it's you know an, it's an exploration of honor. Um, yes, and and I would I would say that the character that they're exploring honor with is kind of without honor, and that's kind of the point. Um, that the only way that uh, he's going to make himself worthy um, is if he. And, you know, he agrees to do this this quest, and the only way that he's going to ever be honorable is if he does this quest. But if he does the quest... What's... Yeah, then gonna, what's the point? It's it's not, you know, he's not going to be there to, to, you know, and he's kind of a selfish character in that regard, in that the only reason why he stepped up, you know, and, and originally took on the challenge was because he didn't think he'd have to... Uh, 
you know, he didn't really think that at, in the future he'd have to pay for it or that he right. would have to do the the swap. You know, it's a game. Right. You know, I know. And, and the, the king tells him that, remember, it's 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 just a game. Uh, which is how which is how the Green Knight sells it. You know, one of your knights will play a game with me. And Arthur tells him, it's remember, it, it is but a game. And he, yeah. Uh, I could go into a really long freaking Arthurian diatribe, but I don't, I don't want to go into a really long freaking Arthurian diatribe about my own theories about that, uh, because that would bore a lot of people. Um, but this film it's again, yeah, it's, it's not an action film. It has horror elements, so it's not really a horror film. Uh, it's rated R, but barely. Yeah, I, I, it's there's, there's, there is, uh, you know, it opens up in a horror house. Yeah, so there's there is some nudity in the background there. Yeah. Um, and then there are some giants that go strolling past that are not. Yeah. Clothed. Um, but it's not. Um, you it's know, not it's super violent. Well, it's well, not. No. There's not a lot of language. There's actually a lot of this film is silent. Yeah, well, and it's funny because I think that the R rating says something about graphic nudity, and it's like, well, that kind of it, that's not exactly true. Um, no. I think that if you're, <laughs> if I think if I think there's one scene that gives it the R rating. Sure, sure. And I was and like, wow, I can't believe they went there, but okay. Yeah. Uh, well, well, no, that's I think there's two. Then if we we, we yeah, but um, yeah. It, it's more, but it, it is certainly an art house film, and so the R rating. Um, it's like a thematic R. They probably just, I mean, I, with a lot of art house films, they just don't really care what it's rated because um, they're, the audience that they're trying to present the film to doesn't really care yeah, either. There's, there's not going to be a lot of 10 year olds clamoring to go see the, the Green Knight. I don't think so. So I, I think you're okay. Um, but if you're an adult and you, don't mind thinking more than a little uh and you're okay with fantasy you're okay with a little horror um yeah i would i would easily tell that audience to seek this out um i i think this 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 is one of those films that's going to be around at awards time it's yeah, that kind of film i don't know that it's going to win um simply because it is a little further out there um but i think that you will see quite a few nominations uh dev um, patel and, should get noticed well and it, yeah i mean the nominations even if they don't win it's not like the end nominations aren't earned right um you know i mean i i, I had kind of given a lot of the art design and costuming to cruella um already but i i feel like yeah, maybe maybe this not. Count, this may challenge that in 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 quite a few areas. Um, it's rare that you know you, you think, oh, the sound design in this was actually really quite good. Mm -hmm. um, the in cinematography a way, I, was great. Yeah, and, and when I talk about sound design, typically it's great if you don't notice it. Right. Um, but in this, you notice it because it's so well done. The way that the the, the, the you know the crunching and just a, a lot of the audio aspect of it is is um, such a big part and and sometimes there's music and sometimes there's not and the way that you know they kind of utilize um natural sound and whatnot it, it's just um really quite well done in that regard so yep. yeah i mean when it when we talk uh oscars there's there's so many categories that this could end up you know uh, being nominated for um but again you know it, it is a little bit out there mm -hmm. um and to be honest though to a certain extent if it wasn't i think i would have been upset um i don't really want the same movie we've already seen no. um so you know that's that's how I uh, feel uh, about it. Yeah. And, no, it's. But you know, and and there, there you know, and and there, and there is certainly look. I, you know, I do like a lot of A twenty four films, um, 
and, but there are some that I like, you know, uh, Zola that just came out was not my cup of tea. Mm -hmm. um, but, but this, when they do this sort of thing, uh, I tend to be, um, uh, you know, really excited about what they've done, um, simply because they allow an artistic freedom that a, a lot of the major studios do not. Mm -hmm. And so, I mean, you look at this and you, you know, and this, and, and ironically, and I, you know, this, this film was completely re-edited over the pandemic. So was it I really? Yeah. So I don't, I don't know what the original looked like, but yeah, it was, it was reworked and, and whatnot over the pandemic period. So it's, it's even a different film than what we would have seen a year ago. Wow. How different? I don't know. You know, um, David Lowry is probably the only one who, well, you know, an editor or whatever, probably are the only ones that know. And, and know. but it, it, it is interesting to me that there's a entirely different cut of the film that exists uh, that we'll maybe see, maybe never see. I, I, you know, I don't know. The Blu-ray Blu will have the pre-COVID cut. Yeah, maybe, <laughs> but, or, you know, I, I don't know. I, I would tend to think that he probably, if, if uh, the director didn't like it, Right. He prefers the other version that they'll go with just the other version. But yeah, no, I I, I like this version. I I'm not gonna say the uh, another cut would have been I would have liked less, but I I I don't know. But I I did like this version. Uh, I have it. At, this is like an eight. I think this is easily the best movie I've seen this year, despite I, some of my you know issues with a couple of scenes, just shots going on too long, but. But no, it's. But that's also David Lowry. I mean, uh, there's the scene in in uh, the ghost story, uh, the pie eating scene that's notorious. Right. Um, he, he does occasionally, you know, hold a shot for too long. I I didn't really feel like he did too much of that here. Um, he does like to linger. Yes, that was um, the word I was I that was the word I used in my notes. So, uh, it does linger a, a, a few times, and lingering is okay. Sometimes you malinger. And that's he he bordered on that a couple times for me, in my taste, uh, in this one. But uh, certainly doesn't detract from my enjoyment of the movie as a whole at all. Um, I have it at like it like I said like an eight, uh, easily. An yeah, eight. yeah, it's it's at least an eight. It's an eight uh, after a first watch, and then maybe it moves its way up after. Right. It's it's, it's hard to say. Um, again, certain movies. I think to be a, well, I, I I don't want to put any any limits on what makes a great movie, but I, there's definitely something about a movie that can if it can be rewatched and um, yeah re-experienced um, without having it to be forgotten, if that makes sense. Yeah, you know, yep. sometimes you can go back to a movie because you've forgotten a, a percentage of how things happened. Um, Yep. You know, this this film maybe it's that way I don't know um, but uh, as as you know just to, I think it's a really interesting and and an easy recommend for people who like uh, art house films that are a little different um, yes people who 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 like fantasy the genre but don't necessarily need an epic battle scene um, yep. Because if you're looking for a, you know some, something like that, you're just not going to find it here. Nope. Um, and it never it, it never really implied that. Although I think you hear King Arthur and maybe you think of of that. But again, yeah, this, this is an, not King Arthur. No, this is not story that story. So uh, definitely. So yeah. So it's uh, yeah. If definitely, you can't be an action fantasy person. I mean, you can, but you have to understand that that's not what this is. Yeah, this is a, more of your mythology fantasy, uh, if anything else. So, uh, so yeah, so two uh, easy recommends for the Green Knight from A twenty four, who released the trailer for their next film. I don't want to talk about it right now, but uh, it looks crazy too, uh, but in a good way. So we'll see how that one goes. Uh, that's it. The Green Knight opens tonight. For all of us talking right now and tomorrow friday it'll be in everywhere uh if you've got a theater so if it's in a big theater check it out if you've got an art house and that's where it's playing go support the art house odds are it's locally owned and they need your money anyway 
So uh, next week, we've got a couple more big movies coming out. We've got some other minor stuff to talk about between now and then. But until we get to that, stay safe. Enjoy yourselves. All that good stuff. Till then, I'm Mark. That's Ryan. Bye, Ryan. See you guys. Uh, and we'll talk to you all later. <laughs>